Hello, this is Mike Lively, and welcome to Programming Python Lesson 1. And the emphasis of this whole course will be working with the Django. And, uh, of course, you're going to expect me to say the word Eclipse, because if you've watched my other videos on PHP programming or Java programming, you know I use the Eclipse engine. So I'm assuming that you already know how to install Eclipse, but if you don't, just open up Google, type in Eclipse, and install the full Java package. Once you've done that, you're ready to install Python. So what I want you to do now is go to the PyDev site, and you can find it at pydev.org, and that's going to walk you through the installation process. So the first thing you actually want to do is install one of these three packages, Python, Jython, or Iron Python, and remember where they were installed, because you're going to need to navigate back to that place in Eclipse. So once that's completed, we're going to want to install PyDev into Eclipse, and so you're going to do that using the Update Manager. So you're going to go to the Update Manager by going to Help, Install New Software, and Add, and you want to add the following, and you want to add the following web address, pydev.org forward slash updates. And once you've done that, you'll be ready to link Eclipse to the Python interpreter. Let's go to Eclipse and start the process. So we're in Java Eclipse right now, and we're going to hit Help. And to help, we're going to go to Install New Software. And then this drop-down menu right here is where you actually want to put that uh, PyDev address. And you can see I already have it here. I've already installed it. So we're going to place that in there and go through the process of hitting uh, Next and Finish. And when you do, you're ready to uh, link everything to the interpreter. So to link to the interpreter so you can actually run your Python programs, you want to go to Window and to Preferences. And in Preferences, you want to go to PyDev. And in PyDev, you want to choose a particular interpreter that you'll be linking to. In this particular case, we're going to choose Python. Now, if you hit Auto Config and it does not work, then what you need to do is you need to actually navigate to the Python package that's on your C drive. So remember where you placed that when you installed it, and just navigate to wherever it is. Give it a name. I'll call it Python in this case. And, you just, and just navigate to where it is on your C drive. And in my particular case, it was on C in Python 26. Once you've done that, go ahead and continue with the install process, and then all these particular packages should appear in your Python path. Since we've already done that, we're not going to continue with the process, but now you're actually ready to start creating Python programs. So let's take a look at our checklist. So today we're specifically interested in, first of all, having you download Eclipse, downloading Python, installing the PyDev program using the help install uh, software add that's basically used through the update manager. Then we went to preferences and installed the interpreter and finally want to create Hello World Python and you're going to be amazed at how simple this is. Python is an extremely powerful language. It runs at the C level and so there's so many amazing things you can do with it and it runs on practically everything. So let's go ahead and take a look at how easy it is to create Hello World. So now that you've linked your Python interpreter to Eclipse, you're ready to start building Python programs. It's just that easy. And just as we've done in any other Eclipse program, we're just going to right-click on the white space and go to New and go to Other. And in so in Other, in the PyDev folder, you have the ability to choose a, a Django project or a PyDev project. We're going to choose PyDev project for this particular one. Click on that. Hit Next. And let's give it a project name. We'll call it My Hello. Python. You can see below here you have the ability to choose the interpreter that you're actually going to be working with. In this particular case, we're going to be working with Python. Hit Next and hit Finish. And you can see we've already created the base code for our project. We need to put something in the SRC folder so we can actually create a Python file. So let's go right click on the SRC folder. So now right click on the SRC folder, go to New. and go to PyDev Package. And in that, you're going to give your uh, first project a name. We'll call it Hello World. Go ahead and hit Finish. And so in your SRC folder, you've created a little package called Hello World. And in that Hello World, you have the file where you can actually put your uh, Python project. So let's open that up, and let's uh, build our first Hello World project. And it's so simple. All we're going to use is a print statement. So just type in print, and in quotes, just put hello world. And at that point, to hit run the program, just click on run. 
And we want to run it as a Python project. Hit OK. OK. And then your console window, you'll see Hello World. Ta-da! You just did it. You built your first Python program. Congratulations. And you're going to find it amazingly easy to work with Python in this series to come. And I really look forward to this. You're going to see a lot of cool effects, especially when we do Django and we get to the world of 3D. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively, and I'll see you next time.